Hello, bacho. In this question, it is given that let 2x square plus 3x plus 4 to the power of 10 is equal to summation r equal to 0 to 20 a r x bar r then a 7 by a 13 is equal to which of the following values. Now, for finding the answer, let us write the key concept. This question ka key concept is if there is a binomial expansion of a plus b plus c to the power of n then the general term is given by n factorial divided by r factorial s factorial t factorial a power r b power s c power t where r plus s plus t is equals to n. Now here we have this term as a, this term as b, this term as c and 10 as n. So here we will have the general term is equals to 10 factorial divided by r factorial, s factorial, t factorial into 2x square to the power of r into 3x to the power of s into 4 to the power of t. So, if we simplify this, we will have 10 factorial divided by r factorial, s factorial, t factorial, 2 power r, 3 power s and 4 power t into x to the power of 2r plus s. Now, from this given term, we can say that a r is the summation of coefficient of x power r. So, to find a7, we have to find the coefficient of x power 7. To find the coefficient of x power 7, we should have 2r plus s is equals to 7 and r plus s plus t is equals to 10. So, here we have two equation. 2r plus s is equals to 7 which implies s is equals to 7 minus 2r and r plus s plus t is equals to 10. Now from this we can say r can range only from the values 0, 1, 2 and 3. If it goes to 4 then the value of s will become negative which is not possible. So r can have only 4 values. So if r is equals to 0 s is equals to 7 and t is equals to 3 and if r is equals to 1 then s is equals to 5 then t is equals to 4. So if r is equals to 2, s is equals to 3 and t is equals to 5. If r is equals to 3, s is equals to 1 and t is equals to 6. So we will have a7 is equals to 10 factorial divided by 0 factorial 7 factorial 3 factorial into 2 power 0, 3 power 7, 4 cube plus 10 factorial divided by 1 factorial, 5 factorial, 4 factorial into 2 power 1, 3 power 5, 4 power 4 plus 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 5 factorial into 2 power 2, 3 power 3, 4 power 5 plus 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial, 1 factorial, 6 factorial into 
टू क्यूब थ्री पवर वन एंड फोर पवर सिक्स सो इफ वी सिंप्लीफाई दिस वी विल हैव टेन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल टू पास जीरो इज वन सो वी विल हैव थ्री पावर सेवन फोर क्यूब प्लस टेन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव फैक्टोरियल फोर फैक्टोरियल टू पावर वन इज टू थ्री पावर फाइव इंटू फोर पावर फोर प्लस टेन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय टू फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल फाइव फैक्टोरियल टू स्क्वायर थ्री क्यूब फोर पावर फाइव प्लस टेन फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल सिक्स फैक्टोरियल टू क्यूब थ्री पार वन फोर पार सिक्स नाउ लेट अस चेंज ऑल द फोर पावर्स इनटू द पावर ऑफ टू सो वी विल हैव टेन फैक्टोरियल थ्री पावर सेवन टू पावर सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल प्लस टेन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव फैक्टोरियल फोर फैक्टोरियल थ्री पावर फाइव फोर पावर फोर इज टू पावर एट टू पावर एट इंटू टू पावर वन इज टू पावर नाइन प्लस टेन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय टू फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल फाइव फैक्टोरियल थ्री क्यूब फोर पावर फाइव इज टू पावर टेन टू पावर टेन इंटू टू स्क्वायर इज टू पावर ट्वेल्व प्लस टेन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री फैक्टोरियल सिक्स फैक्टोरियल इंटू थ्री इंटू फोर पावर सिक्स इज टू पावर ट्वेल्व टू पावर ट्वेल्व इंटू टू पावर थ्री इज टू पावर फिफ्टीन नाउ लेट एस टेक टू क्यूब कॉमन हियर देन वी विल हैव टेन फैक्टोरियल थ्री पावर सेवन टू पावर थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल प्लस टेन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव फैक्टोरियल इंटू फोर फैक्टोरियल थ्री पावर फाइव टू पावर सिक्स प्लस टेन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय टू फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल फाइव फैक्टोरियल थ्री क्यूब इंटू टू पावर ट्वेल्व If we take two cube common, we will have two power nine plus ten factorial divided by three factorial six factorial into three into two power twelve. Take this as equation number one. This is the value of a seven. Now, for finding a thirteen, two r plus s. Will be equals to thirteen, which implies s is equals to thirteen minus two r. And r plus s plus c is equals to ten. If r is equals to zero or one or two, then t will be negative. So r should start only from Three. R can have three, four, five, and six. If R is equals to three, then we will have S is equals to thirteen minus six. Thirteen minus six is seven. Then we will have T is equals to zero. So if R is equals to four, then S is equals to thirteen minus eight. That is five. Then T is equals to one. So if R is equals to five, then we will have S is equals to three and T is equals to two. And if R is equals to six, we will have S is equals to one. T is equals to three. Then we will have a thirteen is equals to ten factorial divided by three factorial, seven factorial, zero factorial, two cube, three power seven, four power zero plus ten factorial divided by 
4 factorial, 5 factorial, 1 factorial, 2 power 4, 3 power 5, 4 power 1 plus 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial, 3 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 power 5, 3 power 3, 4 power 2 plus 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial, 1 factorial, 3 factorial into 2 power 6 into 3 power 1 into 4 power 3. Now let us change all the 4 powers in terms of 2 powers. Then we will have 10 factorial into 2 cube 3 power 7 4 power 0 is 1 divided by 3 factorial 7 factorial plus 10 factorial, 4 factorial, 5 factorial, 2 power 4 into 4 is 2 square. So, 2 power 4 into 2 square is 2 power 6 into 3 power 5 plus 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial, 3 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 power 5 into 3 cube into 2 power 4. So we will have 2 power 9 into 3 cube plus 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial 3 factorial 2 power 6 into 2 power 6 is 2 power 12 into 3. Now this is the value of A13. Now substitute the value of A13 in equation 1. From here if we see this is the value of A13. So we can write A7 is equals to 2 cube into A13. So A7 by A13 is equals to 2 cube which is equals to 8. This is the final answer. Now let us check the option. From the option, we can say that option A is correct. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you, Bacho.